Hey everyone, welcome to Jamestown Distributors. This video will show you some associated products to be used with Pettit Easy Epoxy, including white undercoater and metal primer. The, it does have some associated products, specifically Easy Epoxy white undercoater, which comes in a can like this. And what the undercoater is, is actually back to the other technology. It's a traditional Elkid enamel base primer. Um, so it has a lot of body. And in the Easy Epoxy um, system, generally with that solid substrates like the metals and the fiberglass, the undercoater is considered an option in the system. There's nothing wrong if you have a smooth, fair surface after it's been properly prepped like fiberglass to go straight to the finished coat, Easy Epoxy. It doesn't require an undercoater in that sequence. Mm -hmm. Over wood, that's the difference. It would require the undercoater. Now we do have another product, associated product with the Easy Epoxy line called Satin Additive. I brought it here in a pint because that's the most common size. What the additive is used for in those applications where maybe we're not looking at a yacht finish, maybe it's a commercial boat application and he doesn't care about having it perfectly smooth, but he certainly doesn't want to emphasize the imperfections. He would like to tone down the gloss of the product, which will help hide some of those uh, shallow dips and, and uh, crazes. Um, he does it with a satin additive. Basically, if you start with a quart of the paint, two parts paint, and a pint of the additive, two to one, you'll bring your finish down to a semi-gloss finish. If you want to go flat, you can go as deep as one to one. And you can get a flat finish. And certainly anything in between. So the rule that we uh, caution uh, the boat owner about if he's using this additive is make sure he mixes enough paint to do the entire job, more than enough. Because um, you want to be very precise and you want to want to make sure that the gloss matches as you go from one can to the next. So if he's using more than a gallon of paint or more than two quarts of paint, we always box them together in one container. And when you're dealing with the additive, we start with the paint in the container. You add a little bit of the additive, you stir it up. You add some more, you stir it up each time. You don't just plop it all together. We want to make sure this is well dispersed throughout the paint so you don't get any striation in your gloss. So it's very uniform in terms of its sheen. So it is important that you mix it that way. And having a little drill with a, uh, an attachment to, to stir it up well is, is definitely the way to go. And the caution, again, is to mix more than enough paint to do the entire job. Over wood systems, we, uh, again, I'm touching the associated products to the systems here, and we will be going over the systems. But uh, we also have a clear sealer. If you're dealing with bare wood, the system would involve the clear sealer, the primer, and then the finished product. And if you're dealing with the metal substrates, aluminum or steel, we have to use an etch metal primer over the bare metal. Our 6455 metal primer would be the product to use before Easy Epoxy. For more details about Easy Epoxy's associated products and their different applications, you can read more about them on our blog at jamestowndistributors.com.